Welcome to the Salt Strong Podcast, disrupting fishing entertainment as you know it. Prepare to laugh. Prepare to get to know fishing legends in a whole new and unfiltered way. And on occasion, you might even learn a thing or two about fishing. Here's your host, Joe Simons, like diamonds. God and the coronavirus. Yes, I do believe that this coronavirus, this thing that is causing so much devastation, so much fear, so much anxiety, uh, so much hurt, and, and even many, many deaths, I truly believe that God has his hand in this. I truly believe this was done on purpose for a purpose. And I truly believe that this is going to end up being a very obvious thing on why it happened. For those of you listening, I am Joe Simons, co-founder of Salt Strong. This is Unchurched, and I'm in my Tahoe right now. I'm just getting back from fishing, and I've spent a little bit of time on the road, and that is always a good time for me to, to pray and reflect. And with all of this coronavirus stuff going on, it's also a good time to, to question. God, why would you do, why would this happen to us? Things seem to be going so well, right, with the economy and just everything in general. Why? Why is this happening? Let me explain before I reveal my answer on on just how I'm looking at America and in the world. Now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pick on America because that's the majority of our listeners. And what I see in America today, and I'm guessing if you're like me, you'll probably agree, is we are divided. We are divided more than any other time that I can recall. There is so much animosity. There is so much hate. There is so much division amongst classes, amongst races. I'm talking everything from racism, discrimination, men versus women, and paying. You know, who gets, I mean, it's crazy. And, and, and what really, really pains me is all of the division and the hatred even amongst communities that used to support each other and get along. Let's just take the fishing community, for instance. This is a time, guys, where we should be bonding. We should be more united than ever before. Yet I have seen so much hate, so many negative comments, so much bashing and belittling and horrible, I mean, horrible comments that I can't even believe someone would even type into their computer or their phone on social media, even in our own fishing groups. And that's just one segment of the millions of different segments and little communities throughout America. I'm sure you're seeing this, right? I mean, it, it, it's mind-blowing how ununited we were. It's mind-blowing how negative and full of just hate that we have become as people. And here's why that bothers me so much as a Christian and as a guy that believes in God and believes that God is our Father and that we are all made like Him and in Him. If we truly believe that and if we truly want to say there is a God and that we're all children of God, how can we hate someone who, who is also a ch child of God, right? How can we hate someone who is supposed to be made just like we were by the same person, by the same creator? Think about that for a second. So here's why I believe that God is putting this down and raining all this terror and this fear on us. Let's go back in time a little bit to a day called 9-11. Right before that, we certainly did not have the division that we have today in America. But if you recall, there was a lot of division. There was there was just a ton of negativity during that time. Yeah, the stock market and stuff was kind of doing well, very similar like today, and we kind of dealt with it. But in terms of our communities and our churches, and at the time, social media wasn't around like it is today. Uh, it actually really was just kind of starting to get created. But at that time, there was still all this hatred. And what happened? 9-11 happened. Probably one of the most scary days of our lives if you were around that time. And I'm sure if you can remember that time, there was a certain amount of fear and a certain amount of uncertainty in what's going to happen. And then shortly after, which I thought was the most special part of 9-11 and maybe a reason that God let that happen to us if we think he let that happen or had a hand in it, was I had never seen so much unity in America in all of my life. 
In my 41 years on this earth, I had never remembered feeling so patriotic and seeing so much love in so many people who just a month prior were hating on each other and discriminating and being negative and racist. Color didn't matter. Race didn't matter. Nothing mattered. Didn't matter who you voted for. We were all one. We were America of one for a short amount of time. I believe I saw some stat that there was more American flags and more just patriotic red, white, and blue stuff sold shortly after that than in any other period in history. There were more American flags flying in every single store and downtown and every single place that I was around in little small cities and houses. And yet we've parted ways from that. It's like we forgot that even happened. Those same storefronts and some of those same houses are now have no flags at all. They have their Trump flag. Come on, guys. This is a wake up call. And this has nothing to do with Trump. I don't know why. I don't mean to, mean to say this has nothing to do with the Trump flag, but this is a time where we should be united. This is scary, and yet there's still so much hatred. I thought for sure that once we started seeing some of this fear and some of the things that we're starting to experience around the globe in the stock market, just crazy fluctuations, depending on what day you're listening to this, who knows what it, what's happening right now, and the kids being out of school and chaos and people losing jobs. And you know, my wife and I, we have no salary. You know, I only get paid by Salstrom if it's doing well. My wife has zero salary. All our appointments are getting canceled left and right. This is scary times. I got fishing guide buddies who are freaking out. They're getting cancellations left and right. I got friends in the hotel industry and the travel industry who are literally, I mean, scared to death. This is a scary, scary time. And yet we go in there and it's like we want to just yell at people and scream at people and be negative. Guys, listen, I mean, if there is ever a time in our lives to, to maybe do a little bit of praying and to maybe be a little bit calm and to maybe be a little bit more loving and accepting and become united, this is it. And, and all I ask, and, and this was kind of what hit me in the car and why I wanted to do this now, I just felt called to do it, was, was that whole son of God or daughter of God, or whatever you want to call yourself, if we truly believe and I imagine if you're listening to this, you might call yourself a Christian, or at least you maybe believe in a God. And if that's true, and we're all supposed to be like God, how can we have so much hatred out there? Maybe this is a hard-hitting reminder from God that, guys, this is wake-up call number 722 that we need to get our act in order, that we need to start being loving, that we need to unite as communities, as groups, as a country to come together as one and be loving. The next time that you see something that maybe offends you, let it slide. Maybe the next time that you see a Facebook post or something that you don't 100% agree upon, let it go. Maybe say some prayers for that person instead of sitting there and piling it on. I, I don't know, I'm just disgusted with all the hatred and everything I see out there. And it's like, to me, it's like, come on guys, this is so evident and so obvious why we need a wake up call here in America and really globally to start being more loving, to start praying more, to start going to church more, to start being more giving, to start sharing, to start encouraging, to start lifting up instead of doing just the opposite. Guys, I hope that makes sense. I'm not going to stay on this pedestal or soapbox any longer. I'm not perfect at all. And I'm just going to share this last story with you just so you know that. We had a day here recently where it, it just felt like there was mud being slung everywhere. It was a scary time. The stock market was down 2,000 points. Lost a lot of you know my 401k and some of my retirement savings just like a lot of you. And I felt like we were getting as a company, and, and which I take personally, just bashed online for no reason at all. Just people were having a bad, we were all having a bad day and I couldn't figure it out. And yet that same evening, cause I was just worn out and wiped out physically and mentally and emotionally. And, and, and a little bit of just confused and fear and anxiety of what's going to happen next, that I started yelling at my kids and my wife, and I had to take a step back and apologize to them. And so that's my last 
kind of request you, if you do, <laughs> like, get angry, because it's going to happen. We're, we're, we're messed up people. We're not perfect, as we've talked about in many of these unchurched episodes. Just because we're Christian doesn't mean we're perfect. In fact, it's the opposite. It means that we are broken. Be first to apologize. Be first to say, I was wrong. I screwed up. I lost my temper. I blew my fuse. You were right. I love you. Just that simple, simple thing of just apologizing and saying I love you or just saying I'm sorry can go a really, really long way during this time of of fear and anxiety and really just kind of confusion. Guys, thank you so much for all the love. If this made any impact, on you at all or if you feel like you might have someone in your life that needs to hear it all I ask is that you share it with whoever might need to hear it until the next episode I'm keeping all of us and all of you in my personal prayers every night and every day as I do my little meditation and praying and praying at night and just uh, just praying that 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 this does go go by and that we do come out stronger because of this and that this is all part of God's plan and he does have a reason for making this happen and this should be a wake up call for all of us to become more united as one i'm out Cause it's in my soul.